What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one. Want to talk about this Chad Ocho Cinco Sherell Rosado thing just a little bit today and some of the red flags. I've seen a lot of people's covered it, uh, but I want to give my advice on this. And I'm looking back at a conversation that Shannon and Ocho had in the past, and he should have took heed of this precaution uh, when it happened, right? When it was happening in real time, she's doing what she's doing with me while she's with him. Uh, I should really take that into account and maybe not make her mind. Now, she's her own boss, executive producer, I guess, of her own show. She's doing some different things like that. People saying it's a publicity stunt. She got it them in the comment section saying, I don't need no clout. Uh, so we're going to look at some of this stuff. Let's check it out. But have you ever, in any of your relationships, have you ever just wanted to like be with somebody else? Like you're in a relationship, you you love this person you're in a relationship with, but you want to tip your venture off, dip your, yeah, dip your toe in somebody I else. And us as women, our answer will be will be different because we are emotional creatures, I and I feel like, you know, when I was younger, I used to have the tit for tat mentality, and I actually. I cheated on my ex-husband with Chad. Really? I, I wouldn't say cheat because I mentally checked out. I understand. Um, so you were Chad. almost done with that relationship. I was done. So you were I done I was with mentally that checked I out. Um, and I grew an emotional attach. So it was like I was already sexually, physically attracted to him. So it just made it even better. But see, that doesn't feel like tit for tat it just feels like you was done and somebody else caught your attention but at the age I'm, I'm at now I felt like it was wrong because I should have ended that relationship fully yeah um, I agree I was younger and at that time I was focused on myself and trying to get over everything that I went through and if I would go back, I probably wouldn't have did what I did, but it happened. I don't, you know, I can't go back and change it. Um, does, does that affect your relationship now? With us? Yeah. Of course. So do you feel like Chad may not trust you as much because he knows you was with her and other? I wouldn't say it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect Chad and our relationship because I told him the reason why I did what I did. Mm -hmm. Um but it does affect my ex-husband and mm -hmm. our relationship. We do have a child together. It affect a lot. We don't communicate at all. Yeah. I bought my son the phone. That's how we communicate. Because um, as a man, their pride is very hard. It's like, I understand. you know, you basically, I took care of things you should have. But they don't see what they do. Mm -mm. They just look at what you do, that one thing that you do, and you're the worst person ever. Yeah, they can't take it. They can't they take, can't. It. They can't they take can, what they, they did. You break up with somebody. Is there the time limit in which you can go public with another person? No, I, I don't think there's a time limit, but I, I think... Nah, you need to grovel. I need to know you hurt. If you right away, uh, you ain't love me anyway. Forget about love. If she moves on right away, she was already talking to that individual, you know, planting that seed while y'all were still together. You think so, Joe? That's why the transition and moving on was so easy. Because see, for once, she was already mentally checked out anyway. Ooh, Lord. My grandpa used to say, boy, if they'll cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. Don't let that go over your head, chat. I've said it before myself. Whatever they're willing to do with you when they're not yours, they will do to you when they belong to you. The cycle will continue to repeat itself over and over and over and over. My bad. Yeah, you, My bad. You talk relationships bad. again. He, he. Nah, I talk no relationships. Oh, Cho, I got to read. I read the room. Let me have a little something. It's a little hot in here. I read the room. See? Hey, hey, hey have a, have, how you don't even have no compassion? You don't know what I'm going through right now. I know what you do. You got a great situation. Fix it now. Nah. Well, shoot, I, I, I'm i blocked, so you might need to make that call for me. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not funny. Because, because here's the thing. When people say the grass is greener, okay, what type of fertilizer you use? How often you water it? See, they don't tell you that. You say don't call her no more? No. Okay, you good. Because anytime a woman tell me don't call, don't worry about it. Block, erase the number. Oh no, you'll never get me for stalking. Nah. Oh, I don't play that. So be choose wisely. <laughs> Man, look here.
So Ocho Shannon was really saying something a while back when y'all had that conversation on that second clip I talked about. Whatever somebody's willing to do to somebody else, they'll do to you. And you have to approach it that way and realize that you're not special. You're just the new hot thing in the moment. And I think he didn't realize that. Now, I don't know all the dynamics of what happened, so I can't even pretend I was there. But it was bound to fail, I could say that, if she did that. She talked about going tit for tat. So, what is her tit for tat? She never said that her previous guy did anything um, like that. Y'all could be arguing about something, going low with words. So, your tit for tat is going to get in the bed with somebody else. No, you wanted an excuse to go do what you want to do anyway. Because that isn't something you do to somebody that you care about it, and you know like she said at the end now she should have just ended the relationship yes in the relationship sounds like y'all were just going at each other for a different reason you said oh i know what i'll do i know what to really hurt them and you want to hurt them like that uh because of a moment of you know not getting along you want to do that anyway that was where your fantasies was anyway and I think Chad Ochocinco let that go over his head uh, when Shannon said, don't let that go over your head. Uh, and he looks like he's about to cry on that film where um, he's talking about he's blocked by her and all that. Run. You have a child. Do that. Uh, just continue to better yourself as a man and move forward. And hopefully she betters herself as a female going forward. I did notice, you know, she likes to be on the camera a lot during the nightcap episodes and all that. Now, she says she don't need no clout in those tweets and all that. But I really, um, you know, I really think this is for the best for both of them. Just based off how that relationship was founded. You cannot found it on infidelity. <laughs> And then expect it to go better for you. You can have a child. Y'all can enjoy the honeymoon stages. But in the back of the person's mind that you're doing that with, they like, man, you know, she was with this dude and she did this with me. Like, I don't know that like that, that level of betrayal isn't something that isn't in the mind, (laughs) you know, so you always going to be worried about that happening to you. And you know that she has the capacity to commit that act. And that is where it's just unsettling the whole time. Uh, The red flags was there. Maybe I'm not talking about him right now. So I'm not saying he's flawless because I don't know what he did. Now, if you know what he did, let me know in the comment section, guys. Uh, Did he cheat on her or anything that made her do this? If he's blocked, it seems likely, you know, maybe he was talking to some other females or something, but she has to also look back at herself for that. There's an uneasiness there with the way that they came together. And he has to take accountability for actually making her his fiance. Um, There's accountability to be taken all around the board. But just remember this, fellas. Uh, or ladies, like this, this is applicable both ways. The person that is stepping outside their relationship uh, to be with you, you're not special. You're just the new thing, and you are a vessel to be used for them to in some kind of ploy that they have against the person that they're with. They are not looking to make an honest person out of you. Don't bet on those odds. You know, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Let me know what you guys think about this, though. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to next time. Peace. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down. No, I'm not going to take it down. Oh. I cannot even get to a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Okay. I cannot even get to a monologue okay. without you interrupting okay. me. I cannot even get to a monologue. Let's go, Jen. Interrupting me. I cannot even get to a monologue. Skip. 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 Skip.